so welcome back to another video so if you caught last week's video i did some camping on an island in the middle of a huge lake um i know a lot of you guys like the water content so hopefully another lake video is not boring to you this is a different kind of lake video though if you can see this lake is very low um normally if you can see up there right at the base of those trees is normally where the water level is you can see all the docks down like it's usually clear up there I hope this video does any kind of justice on how low it is i've never seen it this low and my mom and some family members and my grandmother they've all been coming to this lake for years and years and even my grandmother said that she's never seen it this low. So, um, yeah, I don't know about where you're located, but for us here in West Virginia, a lot of the surrounding areas, we have had a pretty severe drought recently and uh, it has not rained much at all. The rain that we have had is definitely not enough to do anything. And there's really no uh, call for rain in the future and last I heard this lake alone is losing like six inches of water a day roughly so Definitely want to come get you guys some content on the place Because I would say this will be the last time in my lifetime that I see it this low. I'm guessing Obviously, that's you know, not factual. It could drought again this bad, but I don't know from what I understand this is kind of a a record drought kind of deal um also if you caught last week i did some fishing well i tried but you guys know uh can't do it i don't know why but i know it's coming to a lake we're gonna try again and there is nobody anywhere which i mean most people come to lakes the boat and all that good stuff to be in this low i didn't figure there'd be many people so what I'm going to try to do is get a little phone service, hopefully, and just kind of give you guys some facts about the place. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll just have the whole place to ourselves. I don't figure anybody else is dumb enough to drive their vehicle right down into the lake bed like me. But, still, hopefully we'll have a nice, peaceful evening. Definitely got a pretty good dinner planned, I think, anyway. And a new beer to try. have a new sauce to try. Yeah, same old stuff. All right, so let's get us a camp going here. We got a fishing pole, and see what we can do. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So while I'm thinking about it, I went ahead and tried to get Google to work here, and it did. So I'm gonna give you guys some facts real quick while I'm thinking about it. So this lake, the waters cover 1,750 acres normally. Uh, depths up to 130 feet so yeah it's a lot less than normal in its current state yeah I need to see if I can figure out how deep it is now like if they're keeping track of that maybe all right so I'm not finding the current depth of the lake but it tells me the current like water elevation which I don't know what it is normally so it's not super helpful but it said 1057 I don't know but anyway, yeah, if it's up to 130 feet in some places, I mean, you can see way out there, that's a long way up that bank to the water. So, yeah. Anyway, back to fishing. All right. I know I didn't have very good luck with night crawlers in Virginia, but we're going to try again here and see what happens. All right, on the second pole, I'm gonna try this little guy. I've had luck with these in the past, but I don't know about today. We'll get... All right, well, I'm gonna try a new beer. While well, I let that one sit out there. No luck on the artificial bait yet. So maybe go to Nightcrawler on that as well. So, Gallagher's Spiked Double Brewed Tea. You can see that. I don't know where Gallagher's is even from. Somerset, PA. I think it's more of like an eastern and southern kind of thing because I've never really seen this anywhere else. I don't know. 
there and give it a shot. Eight oh. percent, if you can see that. Hmm. Not my favorite. Yeah, it's got an odd taste. The Arizonas are better. I think the monster ones are better. It's not far from a twisted tea. Yeah, I would not get that again. Well, it says shake well. I gave it a, a stir about that. Maybe that's why it tastes funny. I don't ever think to look at that because I don't ever just shake a can before opening it normally. Let's see if that helps. Nope, tastes the same. All right, anyway, I think I might try a different bait. Sip on that guy some more. Burn up some more time not catching fish. And see what happens. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is run up some rocks for a little fire pit. Got a nice little area right here. Start a fire there, have a log to sit on. Should be perfect. Not amazing, but it will do the job. I actually just need it big enough to fit my cooking grate down in there anyway, so yeah, should be perfect. And the bobbers are not doing anything. See them from here. Not catching anything. But this time I'm not doing fish. I know last week I brought a backup. But I'm gonna bore you guys with fish again. But I am gonna try to fish for a few more minutes. Start a fire before it gets too awful dark. Maybe start on dinner. I think it's gonna be pretty tasty. Really wish GoPro zoomed so you could see what I'm looking at. You might see it a little bit on your screen. I know this is not gonna work. I'm gonna try to zoom with my phone. See how bad that looks to the GoPro. Right there. That's pretty terrible. I think you can maybe make out that it's a deer though. A little closer now maybe you can see it come down and give him a drink or whatever it is i don't know whatever it is it's pretty small Psst. Hey, kitty 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 that never works all right well time to get a fire going i think Still not one single bite. I don't get it. All right, I think it's about time to start dinner. So for this recipe, I'm going to use these chicken breast tenderloins because they're kind of like chicken tenders. I've seen this recipe I've done a thousand times. You guys probably have too. And I've always wanted to try it. So apparently, you crush up these and you roll these in some egg and then flour and then the Doritos and you fry them. It's supposed to be really good. I don't know. I'm going to find out. All right, I think the easiest way to do this is probably just to put them in this baggie and smack them with something hard. Maybe that'll get me to the consistency I'm after. All right, that last very dense 
blunt hauler tool seemed to do the trick. So now I think we gotta get this and some egg flour bin chips. All right, I think those, yeah, they'll make good like chicken tenders, I think. Busting my whole bag of flour open. That was a pretty good idea. All right, get a little egg. Sling it across the whole tailgate, make a mess. This is gonna be a disaster because I'm gonna have egg and flour everywhere. I think two eggs would have done the trick, probably. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try this method. Well, that method worked pretty well, actually. All right, so now I don't think these are gonna stick very well without a little more egg on them. So I'm gonna go just a touch more egg. I don't know why those chickens are screaming. too bad might need a couple more chips in there but I think it's gonna work all right see how bad I can burn myself here remember when you're cooking in oil always lay away from yourself then splash up and burn you real bad maybe just like first degree burns don't think I'm getting all of them in one shot do two batches. All right. So, chicken is coming along pretty well. I just gave it a flip. Looking like Getting a little crispy and good. This is the sauce we're gonna try. I've had a couple of these like little Kinder pouches before. I don't know, I've never had the chicken sauce. Sweet, creamy, and tangy. I don't think I'm gonna like it because most of these like chicken sauces, like Chick-fil-A sauce and all that, it's like a little bit sweet for my liking. Chick-fil-A sauce is all right, but you know, give it a shot on its own first. Might be better with plain chicken than Dorito crusted chicken, but try it anyway. Mm. Got a little tang to it. Kind of puts you in a mind like a Chick fil A sauce, maybe. It's better than I thought it'd be. I definitely like more kick in mine, so I probably wouldn't get it again. But it was like a dollar or something at Walmart. Might be good on there. Find out. Chicken's almost done. All right. Here's what we're dealing with. Nice and crispy. Way too hot to eat. Like always. Yeah, that's hot on my fingers. I better give that a second. All right, it's been 10 more seconds. I don't even know why I bother. Hopefully you can see that. Definitely nice and crunchy. Very hot in the middle. Not bad on its own. Definitely better with sauce, I'm sure. I don't know. I'm gonna try this stuff. I'm not convinced it's gonna be amazing on here, but give it a little something. It's even like kind of the collar Chick-fil-A sauce, if you can see that. Yep. Not terrible in there. But you guys know me. I want way more spice. Like, I want to try this now with the, uh, like, spicy nacho or whatever the other Doritos are. 
All right, so since I knew that wasn't going to be spicy and it wouldn't really be what I was after, I brought another sauce. So you guys get two this week. This is Frank's Red Hot Squeeze Creamy Buffalo. Never had it, but it was also a dollar in the Walmart bin, so I thought, why not give it a shot? That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Try another one here. Coat of sauce. Yep, yeah, a little better with that than that Kinder's. Come on, bother. It's easier just to drink it right out of the bottle. All right. So what I'm gonna say is, if you like Chick Fil A sauce, definitely give the Kinder's a try. What's it called? The chicken sauce. Um, for me, let's say it's like a four eight. Like it's all right. A little too sweet for my liking. Probably wouldn't get it again. Now this uh, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo, not too bad. Even lose a little bit of a tingle. I'm gonna say uh, that's probably more like a six two for me. If you like buffalo, I'd give that a shot. That's not bad at all. These would be really good just tossed in that. It's like a wing or something. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have a couple more of these. Probably going to stoke up that fire. So, we got some little toads hanging out by the camp. Hope he's taking off. I was trying to show you a little comparison to my thumb as to how little he is. And then... Right here. This one's a little bigger than my thumb, but still pretty small. And oh god, now this back turned. I think it's just chilly. Let's go near the fire. I know you guys are not gonna be able to see it. At least I hope you can. I heard this from up by the fire. There's a snake right there. Fishing, I think? I don't know, it had something in its mouth. Let me try to get a little closer. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. It's got a little tiny fish in its mouth. It's looking right at me. And that, I can't tell what kind of snake that is. It honestly has the collaring and pattern of a copperhead. I don't think copperhead's much like the water. I'm gonna let him eat. I'm not gonna mess with him too much. Pretty neat though. You can see that he's like swallowing the fish now. There right, guys, I think you can see me a little bit. Got a little bit of light left in the fire. About burned up all my wood. It's about midnight anyway, so probably about time for some sleep. But just hanging out and enjoying the peace. It is definitely quiet down here. Almost eerie, really. It's like there's just nothing. You know what I mean? The trees are so far away. Like, oh, it's just a weird feeling, kind of. It's also weird to think that like this summer there was like fish right here, just swimming. So this is a pretty deep part of the lake. Yeah, definitely pretty crazy. Definitely need to come back like next week, week after, check on it again and see how much lower it's going to be. All right. Yep, I'm going to burn up this wood. Go to sleep.
All right, good morning, guys. It is nice and bright out already. It is one nice morning. Of course, no rain. Stayed pretty cool in here. Definitely slept with the blanket and the fan one, but. So now, we gotta get up. I got a couple spots I wanna show you guys. And I got something new for breakfast I'm gonna try. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the first spot I wanna check out again. Because around Memorial Day was the first time I camped up this way. And I wanna say, I think I was like right here maybe, probably not. I'm gonna go back and try to find a clip of it so I can show you guys. But this is all normally water, which it was kind of high that day. I don't think naturally it was supposed to be up this high, but still, I just kind of want to show you comparison because this spot has been dry so long now, it's starting to look like a field. Like literally grass growing in it and geese growing in it, I guess. Yeah, pretty dry area for a minute now. All right. Next spot. All right, so here's the other spot we're gonna check out. And while we do that, we're gonna try a new coffee. Finally found a new one. I found this in Virginia, actually, when I was down there um, camping on that island. Victor Allen makes some of these like flavored ones. I think they do the Snickers. I don't know, I've tried the others, if you guys remember. But I've never seen a Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So maybe you know, I don't mind some Cinnamon Toast Crunch here and then. So. Thought I'd give it a shot. All right, I finally got the seal off. That took forever. See what it is we're dealing with here. Wow, very heavy on the cinnamon. Very sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I thought for sure that would be my favorite one, which it might be. Still think I'd get that one again. Wow. Definitely wake you up in the morning. Anyway. So, I'm going to give that... Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to give it a 5-4. I'd get it again, but it's... It'd have to be a pretty last-ditch effort, I would say. Anyway, back to the point while we're down here. Um, so, if you remember back around Memorial Day, that was my first time here. And then it was actually like high waters. Like, it wasn't flooding around here by no means, but it was pretty high. Now, that sign was in the video. And I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong because I'm not looking right at it, but I think it was like a third of the way up that sign maybe. Nice and high. And then I came back, not sure. I'll just put it in here because I'm not looking at it. And it was low. And I was talking about how low it was then. And that was all just this summer. And you can see... You know what all's happened this summer so i'd like to get the first two shots of this sign and then like a, sh a shot of today kind of do a comparison because that's basically between memorial day and labor day that this has all happened very low waters in comparison to normal like those rocks right there um if you remember me trying out my canoe that was this trip when I was floating out there and it started raining on me. And there were kids jumping off those rocks. I don't know if I can find that and maybe put a shot of that in just to kind of show you how deep the water was down there that day. That was maybe eight weeks ago. I don't even think it was eight weeks. It might have been. But my memory does not serve me on most occasions. So yeah, I don't know, pretty crazy. But anyway, that's that. 
pretty interesting. Now, I'm gonna go try something new for breakfast I've never had. I'm gonna take you guys along, see what you think. So we're gonna head there now, stay tuned. I'd like to try the bacon, sausage, and egg wrap, please. All right, so let's see if Starbucks food is any better than their coffee. And I know a lot of you like it, don't get offended. It's just, it's just not for me. It's like a little breakfast burrito thing. Honestly, the food here is cheaper than I thought it'd be. A lot of them little breakfast sandwiches were like four or five dollars. I think this was like six seventy-five. I thought it would be a lot more than that just because of the name. And, kind of pleasantly surprised, they have sriracha. So, actually got like a little bit of grill to it. I'm gonna say that the tortilla is definitely nice and light. Unfortunately, I think so is the filling. Oh, hot. Very hot. Wow, that was a crazy hot bite. I made my eyes water a little bit on that one. All right. Definitely uh, could be a little crispier on the bacon and potato. Sriracha isn't too bad. almost has a more of a sweetness to it than like most sriracha's I feel like eggs are definitely nice and fluffy I thought it said bacon and sausage wrap bacon sausage yeah mm, haven't come to any sausage yet you're not gonna be able to see it mostly because of the sun and glare Finally, one little crumble of sausage. Nope, two. Not even enough in there to taste it. Kinda see why they're a little cheap now. Really nothing to that. I was hopeful, I was trying to be optimistic. Yeah, the more I have of the sriracha, I don't care for it a lot. Finally, like a third little tiny ball of sausage. Plenty of egg. A pretty fair amount of potato, even though it's mushy. Be a little better if it was just a little crispier in there, just to kind of give it some kind of texture. I don't know, I'm gonna finish this thing up. Stand by. Okay, done with that. So my thoughts are, I wouldn't get that again. Um, bacon had no crisp at all. The potatoes had no crisp. There was barely any sausage. And the sriracha wasn't that good. I thought it was all right at first, but the more I ate of that sriracha, it got like that sweetness to it that I just don't care for. But luckily, I had a gift card, so I didn't actually pay for that. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend trying that if you want a big old filling breakfast or if you like crispy potatoes or bacon. Oh, some people are into that like mushy, soft stuff. So have to give it a shot for yourself. Like as far as the rest of the like fast food, like drive through breakfast goes, that's pretty, pretty bottom end from what I've had. But definitely have McDonald's first. Uh, if you have a Tudor's Biscuit World in your area, go for that first. That's a way more filling breakfast. Definitely a little bit uh, more worth your money, if you will. I really haven't had much of Burger King breakfast. I can't say nothing for that. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to say as far as a fast food breakfast goes, that's going to be about a 3.9. That's what I'm going to call that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. I um, thought it was pretty neat getting to camp in the bottom of a lake. Never done that. Probably won't ever get the chance to again. So I want to take that opportunity and take you guys along and show you the water level and share a little comparison through the summer i know i didn't catch any fish but the video wasn't really about that i really just want to do the camping and get down in the water get down to the bottom of the lake and uh 
experience that. So, I don't know. I'm alright with not catching any fish this time. Hopefully, one of these days my curse will break and I'll actually catch something. Hope you guys enjoyed the dinner. It wasn't too bad. I would say that if you're going to try that Dorito crusted chicken, I would probably put some seasonings in the chip crumbs. It was kind of bland. I'll probably do like the uh, red top spicy danos next time. But at least maybe some salt, garlic, something like that, just to kick it up a little bit. Sauces weren't too bad. Uh, the tea wasn't amazing. Yeah, about it. All right, I gotta go run some errands. Thank you guys for tagging along. Always enjoy having you guys with me. Stay tuned for next week. I don't have anything too extravagant planned, but we just kind of wing it most of the time. So definitely be prepared for some kind of a little adventure. Think about hitting that like, share, subscribe, something like that. That definitely helps me. I'm currently trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I'm at like 780. So think about hitting that for me. And that's it. Stay tuned for next week. Thanks for watching.